Hey everyone, it's Takara, and today I'm going to be telling you everything you need to know about Oceanic Spirit. So let's go ahead and get started. So, she is available until the 15th. Um, after that, she won't come back to like an 8 or 12 months from now. You can only obtain her within the Four Storms Hell event. So, basically, you go to the gotcha menu, and her gotcha is the claw-looking gotcha, and yeah. So, her cost is in between 4,000 and 5,000 diamonds. It's going to be different for everyone. You can get her for cheaper or more, depending on your luck. So, let's take a look at her suit. Mm, here she is. So, she is based off of the character Ming. Ming is a part of the storyline. If you want to learn more about her character, you can go back to the Hell event and read her story on the event map. I'm personally not interested in lore, so I don't really know much about it myself. But anyway, here is the suit. Here's her hair. Her dress. Her shoe. These are like spider lilies. You can't see them right now. The only way to see them is in the view mode. I will show you that in a bit. Here's her fox. This is like some kind of water item. You can see it better in the view mode. But right now, you can only see that little effect that's by her feet. Here's her head item. Her moon item her earrings, her skin tone, her tail, and her makeup. So going on to the special pose, this is what it looks like. She has this kind of lean-in pose going on. Here is her hair. Her hair is now a bit more flowy. This is what the pose looks like. She's just leaning. I don't know how else to describe it. And her head item is actually more flowy now. So, before I go to the view mode, I need to tell you her top scoring items. This water item is top scoring in 8 chapters. And this moon item is top scoring in 2 chapters. Her special pose has some top scoring items too. Her special pose hair has is top scoring in 1 commission request. And her special pose veil is top scoring in one commission request. So now I'm going to look in the view mode. Uh, here she is. She's okay. <laughs> so I'll move her aside. And so I'm going to show you these lilies. Ah, there they are. Okay, I brought them on screen. So basically what they are is they're just this animated bobbin up and down. <laughs> yeah, that's basically all there is to it. It has like some sparkly stuff coming out from the top as well. Here's the fox. Now this is actually a really cool item. I highly recommend it because it's so beautiful. I've already used it a bunch of times. And here's this water item, you make it tiny, and you can see it's a little heart. So yeah, I guess it's made to put on like, water, like, you know, with this background. And speaking of the background, here's the background, um, so there's no animation or no type of layering effects to it. It's just there, you can use it in your starry corridor entries, you can use it as your main background. You can do whatever you want with this background. It's not really that special. It's just an ordinary background. So now let's take more look into the suit. Like I said, she actually has a skin tone that I'm about to show you. Gotta put on a bikini so you can see her well. And put on a really short hair. There you go. And... So here it is, it's this robot skin tone, it's actually really cool and one of my favorite items in the whole entire hell event. 
highly recommend it honestly it looks awesome and i was actually surprised to find out that it wasn't top score in anything because like literally all of the skin tones in game were top scoring besides from this one but oh well so look back at the suit I'm gonna check off her makeup. I want to see how her um, tattoo works with the uh, different skin tones. Honestly, it looks fine. You know? Yeah, it looks okay to me. It doesn't like mess up or anything. It's still fine. And now I want to talk about versatility. As for her hair, I feel like you can only use it with other cloud style suits. I mean, I've. It's like one of those hairs that you choose whenever you're scrolling and you're like, huh, that looks good. But I can find better because I've done that with this hair too many times already. Um, as for her dress, it's not really that versatile at all because of the sleeves. Like,. If you put on like a handheld, it just clips through everything. That's one thing that a lot of people mentioned. Yeah, it does not work well. And, um. Yeah, I mean, her shoe, whatever. Um, I've actually used these spider lilies and, um, like starry corridor type stuff already. Same with the fox and this water item. They're actually. She actually has some of my favorite background items in the hell event. Um, nothing much about here. Oh, you can't even see it now. I have not used this moon item yet at all. Um, earrings and skin tone, yes. Her tail? Um, her nine tails. I, I don't really see anything with it. Um, her makeup is actually beautiful. The only problem with her makeup is the blue eyebrows, but like literally all you gotta do is you just gotta find a hair that covers them. Like this, it looks perfect. It looks perfect, but then like there's hairs like this one and you're just like, oh, you can see it. That's not good. Yeah, but it isn't hard to find a um, hair that actually covers the eyebrows and like that it looks just fine so the makeup is probably my favorite item from her suit I have used it way too many times already but yeah anyways that's all I have for today I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time bye